In this video, we're going to take a closer look at how to use your Mevo Baseball app. When you launch the app, your previous sessions show up here on the home screen, sorted by date. You can select the session you want to review by one of two ways. Select the shot directly in the list on the right by clicking on it, or select the shot from the calendar view by clicking on the date of the session, and then on the specific session for that day. Your data will be displayed based on the template that is selected in Setup. You can move this data box around to wherever you prefer. Play and pause is activated by tapping on the screen. You can also drag this slider to stop the video at any point. Let's review the menu items at the top of the screen. The first one shows the shot number you are currently reviewing. Tapping it advances to the next shot. Double tapping brings up a drop-down list where you can select a specific shot number. If you're connected to Amiibo and want to quit reviewing your current session and start a new session, click on the baseball or baseball bat icon. Click on the table view icon to bring up a table view of all pitches or hits depending on the type of session that was recorded. By default, it will show all hits, as indicated here in the top right. Clicking here allows you to filter the type of hits. If we select ground ball, for example, we will only see ground ball data as well as the averages for ground balls here at the bottom of the screen. In this view, you can also select multiple items. For example, if you wanted to delete hits 5 and 9, just select them and click on the trash can. Edit allows you to rename a shot and also change the type of shot. Any videos that you have recorded can be shared via email. First check the box of the hit that you want to share, then click the share icon. You now have the ability to send this video via email to anybody. Let's go back to review mode by clicking on the eye icon. In this mode you will also see a draw icon. This allows you to draw lines or circles in any of these colors on your video. If you made a mistake and want to delete any lines drawn, just click on the trash can and then click on the line or circle you want to delete. To go back, just click on the back arrow. If you have any other questions, contact us at support at